welcome Sats Busters to question 21. And this is actually the last question on the paper. It's all about time. Jack finished a sponsored run in 53 minutes, 25 seconds. Ali finished 3 minutes, 50 seconds after Jack. How long did Ali take? Well, there's a couple of ways you could do this. You could, first of all, do a timeline. So if we're on 53 minutes, 25 seconds, then we need to add on 3 minutes. It's very difficult to add on 3 minutes, 50 seconds all in one go. So we're going to add on 3 minutes, first of all. Well, add on your 3 minutes, that would be taking you to 56 minutes, 25. Then add it on your 50 seconds. Now, remember, there are only 60 seconds in one minute. This is why you've got to be very careful if you're doing a column method. Column methods are based on be things being out of 100 or 1,000 or 10, like column headings, 10s, 100s, 1,000. So in time isn't out of that. It's out of 60 with minutes and seconds and hours. So you've got to be really careful. So if... We we're going out of 60 and we've had 25 seconds already. Out of this 50 seconds, another 35 seconds would take us up to 57 minutes. But if you have done 35 seconds out of this 50 seconds, you need to do another 15. Because 35 and 15 makes 50. So if you go another 15 seconds on from 57 minutes, it would you would end up at 57 minutes and 15 seconds. That's your answer to the first question. 57 minutes, 15 seconds. You could have used a column method approach if you're going to take care with it. I've seen people try this and then get it wrong. So we must have care and we must have common sense. So you could have done this. You could have done 53, 25, add 3, 50. Now watch what happens here. 5 and nothing is 5. 2 and 5 is 7. 3 and 3 is 6. 5 and nothing is 5. Now I've seen people write that in there. But remember, 56 minutes, 75 seconds doesn't make sense because this 75 seconds is actually more than one whole minute. So if you took out the 60 seconds from that to make an extra minute, you can take out an extra minute from that 75 seconds, making it up to the 57 minutes, and take off your 60 seconds, which is the extra minute, you're going to have 15 seconds left. So that 75 is 60 seconds, which is your extra minute, plus an extra 15. So that's an extra 1 minute 15. And 56 plus an extra 1 minute 15 is 57 minutes 15. So it's still the same answer. So you could use a column method, but you've got to be careful. And remember, there's only 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour. The second part of the question is Layla finished the run in 8 minutes, 45 seconds before Jack? How long did Layla take? So again, what we're going to do is try it two different ways. We're going to try a timeline first. So if she finished before Jack, we need to subtract off 8 minutes, 45 from the 53 minutes, 25. So if we start with 53 minutes, 25, and we're going to count backwards... So take off the 8 minutes first, so 53 take away 8 is down to 45 minutes 25, and now we need to take off 45 seconds. Well obviously you can take off 25 seconds, and that would put you on 45 minutes exact, but you need to take off 45 seconds, you're only taking off 25, so you need to take off an extra 20 so if you take off an extra 20 seconds from 45 minutes, that would put you on 44 minutes and 40 seconds. So your answer is 44 minutes and 40 seconds.